Hello, and welcome to another big question. Look at the ground outside your window. It's always the same, right? Wrong. Actually, the ground we walk on, the ground our buildings and cities are built on, is changing all the time. But what exactly is changing? What is the earth made of? That's today's big question. Look at this picture. We all live here on the outside of the earth. This is called the earth's crust. As you can see from this diagram, there are two types of crust. The oceanic crust, where the oceans are, and the continental crust, where the land is. Both of these crusts are made of a mixture of different elements and some elements form rocks. There are sedimentary rocks, igneous rocks, and metamorphic rocks. Over time, one of these rocks changes into another, and this is called the rock cycle. But rocks are not the only things that change. In fact, the entire crust of the Earth is moving all the time. Welcome to Iceland. It's an island country in the Atlantic Ocean, and it's part of what's called the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. The Earth's crust is divided into 15 major plates, and the Mid-Atlantic Ridge separates the Eurasian Plate and the North American Plate. These plates are constantly moving. In Iceland, this means there are many volcanoes. In fact, Iceland was formed by volcanic eruptions over many years. A lot of these volcanoes continue to erupt today. There are geysers too, where hot water shoots from below the Earth's crust to its surface. So, we know that the ground we stand on is part of the Earth's crust. But what lies below the crust? Take a look at this image again. As you can see, the Earth is comprised of four layers. Below the crust is the mantle. The mantle is made of rock and some magma. Sometimes this magma erupts from volcanoes. Below that is the outer core. This is mostly liquid made of nickel and iron. Below this again is the inner core. This is the hottest part of the Earth. If we scratch the Earth's surface, we can find all kinds of different things. We can even find fossils like this, which tell us all about our planet's history. There's still a lot we don't know about the world beneath our feet, but we do know that it's always changing.